Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is the truth card or the, uh, this is uh, talking about things coming back into balance for you there. Um, you know, a lot of uh, truth has been revealed. This is the judgment card. So maybe there was a legal decision as well that you uh, faced and now you have now made up your mind uh, and you are changing direction in life. You are moving uh, in a new direction. This is about weighing all your options up or looking at everything, taking a, a, a good uh, look at what had happened and then coming to a conclusion and then making a decision to move on with that particular card. So you're getting a second chance to do something else uh, and a second chance to make a fresh start, really. There's been a success. So if you've been facing some legal issues over there, you've got that sort of truth coming in over here. So whatever this legal matter was or whatever issues you've been dealing with, it's a breakthrough moment uh, coming in for you. So there's a success, uh, you know, with whatever you were dealing with. And that truth is coming to light over here. And that's going to allow you to move on. And you can see that with that um, seven uh, there. That's the chariot card triumph coming in. So whatever this particular situation is, if it was legal issues, there is definitely success coming in with that. But with all the truth that is coming in, it's going to allow you to move. So you either you know, physically moving on, maybe relocating, buying yourself a new home and moving on. Uh, but this could also be, you know, just being very triumphant and turning your back on that difficult situation and moving on. So in the past, you've got the financial and material changes that came in for you. So you are going through a period of, uh, you know, problems. Uh, there were lots of issues that you were dealing on that financial front over there. So, uh, you know, the fives are usually about losses and it's about dealing with difficulties. And this was uh, things to do with your finances, the five of pentacles. So, you know, you may have had a lot of loss. So whatever uh, you've been working on was not quite successful. Uh, but it seems like things, there was a turnaround over there. So you went through a lot of problems, maybe a lot of financial difficulties, but it looks like things uh, started working in your favor over there. You got that victory and success card over there. That's the six of rods. So messages came in for you or something has come in for you uh, and that has brought in success and a lot of recognition as well for your, all your handiwork, all your hard work that you have been doing. Now going into the future, you've got the patience card over here. And it's followed by stand your ground. Now you can see with this particular card, whatever's in a hand is growing. So and uh, you know it's growing into this flower. So whatever you put your hand to, uh, you know, and if you have the patience and you wait and you put in all your skills, it looks like things will start growing and moving on, uh, and there will be success that comes in with that. So you know it looks like things have turned around. You can see from this middle a uh, bit, it's about to turn around. If it hasn't turned around for you, and whatever you're investing your effort into is going. To to being uh, growing for you. You must stand your ground, however, whatever difficulties you uh, face, uh, you must stand up for what you believe in and show them your power. This is very, very important. So it looks like finally things are turning around for you and there's success uh, coming in for you there. And it looks like whatever you put your hand to will start growing. Whatever ventures, uh, you know, even if it's a relationship, it looks like it will be all very successful for you. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the uh, Kingdom Within Tarot. So the bottom of the deck, you've got the Four of Cups over here. This is an offer being made. This could be an apology that comes in for you uh, with regards to this particular situation. So uh, there, this might also be an offer coming in for you to do some further travel, maybe further study as well. Uh, but it looks like, you know, um, there's some kind of uh, relocation of home over here. You've got Moon sitting in Cancer there. That's talking about the home, so changes within the home. Uh, but a new offer coming in over here, and it's an emotional offer there. Uh, so like I said, this could be an apology. So if you were dealing with any problems within the family or you know family problems, it looks like that's going to get resolved with this offer coming in. If this is about work, it looks like a new job offer coming in for you, and that might mean that you have to relocate to take on this new job coming in. You have to wait. You've got the cycles of the Moon over here. 
here, so wait for, for this to come in. You have to have a little bit of patience over there. So what's happening with you? You've got the Judgment card over there and the Queen of Wands. So it looks like, uh, you know, a, a big change coming in for you. You've, uh, you know, gotten rid of the things in the past that were causing a lot of problems. You've been through a lot. Uh, you know, like I say, with this particular card, it's like almost a cleansing with fire there. So gone through the mill, gone through a really difficult problem, difficulties, uh, you know, dealing with somebody who was very, very controlling um, and transformed and moved on, made a, a decision to move on. You could have de been dealing with a, um, a fire sign person, so it could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius uh, energy, and you're making a brand new start, leaving this particular person behind and moving on. This is also about you taking your power, maybe taking on a new job as well and moving on uh, you know taking back the control um, so whatever you're taking back is going to be really productive because she's got a rabbit in her hand over there um, but if you're dealing with uh, this uh, fire sign person it looks like you you're moving away from them you're changing directions or changing path uh, changing the way you deal with things the judgment card is about you know ending significant ending so if you had a relationship with this fire sign person it looks like that that end, a relationship is coming to an end and you are moving on from it um, and this uh, queen of wands is also talking about taking back that control taking your energy starting new projects being in charge as well so you know you are getting on top of things right now and maybe this is a new offer that comes in for a new job or uh, a job that requires uh, f that you travel uh, quite a bit, so maybe a b brand new start somewhere else. So in the past, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, so you have been working, uh, you know, quite hard. Uh, you've got a lot of expectations from this particular job, and you are focusing on that money and that coin. You also, you know, whatever you're doing, you're being uh, very systematic in how you're doing it, um, and you're being very organized. You're working pretty hard. This woman is drive riding a donkey, and she's got a, you know, she's pregnant. This is Mary um, being pregnant. So, you know, a lot of expectations for something good to come out of it, and you're putting in the effort and the hard work. You've got the four of, uh, wands over here, and this is also about putting in that effort, that hard work, uh, being very, very goal orientated and waiting for that success to come in. So success is partially there, uh, not fully there, but it is partially there. You're still dealing with a lot of problems as well, but you are starting to establish your foundations and establish yourself again with that four of wands. So on your mind, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. Um, you know, you're very unhappy with the way you are as far as your financial situation goes. You've got Saturn there in Taurus. So this is about being still feeling very financially restricted. Uh, it seems like, you know, you can't make your money do as much as you'd like it to do there. Uh, and with the Seven of Pentacles, it's, you know, investing a lot but not getting the payoff that you really want. So you are a bit discontent in whatever you're doing at the moment as far as finances goes. Or maybe even with that work. Maybe you're putting too much of effort into that work and it's not paying off. Now, you've got some kind of choice to make over there. This is the Two of Wands being faced with some kind of decision. Uh, maybe the people that you're dealing with, you've got um, Mars there in Aries. So since you've got that Queen of Wands, you could so well be dealing with this uh, fire sign person over there, and they might be very, very aggressive. Uh, you have to make a decision about that situation if it's on the emotional front. But in the workplace, um, you know, it looks like you have to make some kind of big decision as far as your career goes. Make a choice about whatever uh, pathway you've got to follow it, uh, you want to follow, and follow through with that. Um, so there is some kind of big decision. There's the fork in the roads with this particular card. So uh, being faced with some kind of big choice about which project to take, whether to leave something behind and move forward to something new. So a big decision coming up for you there. You've got the page of cups over here. So this is an offer coming in, but just be careful. Make sure you're doing research because you've got the card of the trickster over here. So this person could be pulling the wool over your eyes pretending to offer you something that looks really nice but it isn't in the at the end of the day so just be very careful keep your eyes open and be alert and also do your research with that page of cups now you've got the hangman over there and this is waiting uh for things to come in for you you know this is also this man being held over the water with a pirate by a pirate rather so you've got these two cards here the trickster as well as this hangman so this person that you're dealing with might be a bit shady <laughs> there's also you know it's, there's a lot of mist on this card so things are being hidden from you as well so if you're accepting a new offer anything that you're accepting be very very careful and uh, you know um, do some research don't take their word for what it is make sure that you are well researched up because they could be hiding something from you um, and they may not be looking out for your best interests there. 
You've got the strength card over there, so you're trying to get things uh, sorted out, all your problems, and you're trying to move out of uh, the situation where you have had no power or you've had no, uh, you know, you've been feeling very, very disempowered. So you are moving forward, but you are, try and you are, you know, it's, it's about work. Uh, you want clarity to come in as well, and you want something where you can get your problems sorted out and, and have a carefree life, really. Um, so the final uh, outcome. We've got the Five of Cups over here, the Star and the Nine of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups being very heartbroken in the situation and maybe having to just leave it and walk away from it. Uh, you know, it seems like whatever this person may offer you an apology, but maybe you don't want to accept it because they have let you down so many times, you're not willing to accept this particular uh, apology that comes in and you want to leave because, you know, you're very, very upset. Um, it looks like, you know, you've been through the mill over there and it seems like you've had enough in this particular card. So this is about disappointment, regret, um, and heartbreak. You've got the star card over here. So this is about you needing to get rid of all those bottled up emotions that you have inside of you. Get some divine inspiration. Do some meditation. Um, you know, look to your inner self and look to yourself really for guidance. Uh, this is where your higher self will speak to you and tell you what to do. In the meantime, you know, get rid of all that negative emotions. Try and see uh, the bigger picture and, f and strike a balance. This is about also having hope. Uh, with a star card. So be optimistic, be positive in whatever you're dealing with at this particular moment. And the final card is the Nine of Cups. So this is about receiving wishes, wishes being fulfilled. But this is also try not to overindulge in anything. So make sure you're balanced. Uh, don't, uh, you know, go off the deep end and, and uh, you know, either drinking too much or uh, partying too hard or spending too much, shopping too much. You know, you have to watch things uh, curb, um, you know, any overindulgence behavior. Uh, but also, uh, this is about, you know, receiving. Uh, this is a card ruled by Jupiter, and this is about expansion and receiving uh, plenty of something. Uh, so it looks like your luck is changing. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled. Uh, you need to get, you know, just keep optimistic and try to let go of any kind of emotional baggage that you're carrying and walk away from that situation that is no longer serving you because even if that apology comes in it looks like you know this person might have an uh, um, an ulterior motive they might be the trickster whatever that offer is might not be well not be worth your while considering uh, so you know you will get your wishes uh, coming in eventually for you and you have to make that decision you've got that two of wands whether to stay or whether to go and it seems like it's a big decision that you're going to have to make so I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot for the Oracle read. So you've got the Four of Air over here. So time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time uh, before making a decision. Meditate and this might provide answers. So. You do need to withdraw from everybody, withdraw from the situation and think about it carefully before you make this big decision here with that two of wands. Whatever choice you've got to make, you've got to think about it very carefully. Uh, you know, you, you don't want anybody influencing your decision. You want to make it from your heart. So think about it very carefully before making that decision. You've got the unity card over here, which is the Hierophant. So traditional viewpoints and or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors or like-minded people. Now, you do need to go and get some advice from somebody you can trust, somebody who will look out for your back and look out for your interests. This is very important when you're making this particular decision. So you are very stressed out here. Take a little bit of a break. Take a little, a little bit of a holiday. Come up with a new plan, but get some advice when you're doing that as well. Some practical advice is very, very important. Uh, Unity card is ruled by Taurus. This is about being very practical and take things slowly. Uh, don't rush into things. Uh, Taurus tends to prod, so you do need to do that. Then you've got the king of air over here. So speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice and balance mental and emotional considerations. This is your card. This is about taking that control back. And you do need to go and get some kind of advice as well. This also says speak your mind with confidence. If you're uh, dealing with legal issues, there looks like there's some kind of decision that is going to be made as well. But generally, this is the card for Libra. And it is about you being impartial when you make that decision and get some proper practical advice from somebody who uh, you can trust and you know is not going to be, um, you know, um, causing your ruin. 
So make sure you take a break, take a step back from it, take your time when you make this decision, um, and make sure you're speaking your truth and speaking your mind as well. So I hope that this uh, reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, goodbye.